What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, cancer, and you enjoy my content, you can smash this up and be notified for future readings. This free channel is like reading for sign of cancer. This could resonate if you have cancer, any aspects of your chart, sun, moon, rising, Venus, or the moon, what is you with the chart? Stuff with the basics, time is fluid, energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will, only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free journals like the greeting for Sign of Cancer. I encourage everybody to check out their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Mini, and Jupiter charts for additional message or messages if they apply for you. Uh, love you guys so much. Um, if you'd like to donate, type Pixies 405. The link's in the description box below. I received two channel messages as I was meditating on your energy uh, for the Gist of 96 Cancer. This is for approximately 925 of 2022 to 928 of 2022. Uh, the first one, first channel message I heard was relocation was the first one. And the second one I heard a cancer is heavily dealing with Scorpio. So in a positive way, seven so in, in a negative way. So you plug it in how it resonates. Energy is from your birth. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit. It's free general type reading. So relocation. So you could be relocating uh, or somebody you're connected to could be relocating. That could be far distances or short dis distances. You plug it in how it resonates. And... One of you guys is dealing with a Scorpio, masculine and Scorpio, that can have sports in any aspects of your chart. Uh, for some of you guys, it's in a um, in a positive way, some in a negative way. Um, you have to identify the Scorpio in your own life, whoever they are and how they resonate. Uh, masculine and Scorpio, either in a positive or negative way. For some, I feel you could be dealing with two or two plus Scorpios, only you know your situation and story, not anybody else, okay? We have gratitude, number six could be a very significant number in one's life. Number six, you could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Number six, gratitude. We have the full upright, princes of swords, reverse, queen of pentacles, upright. A huge lie is about to be exposed. A huge lie about how someone got their money. For some, how you got your money. Oh, Lord. A huge lie is about to be exposed. For some, how somebody else got their money. For some, how you got your money. Um, so for some, I feel you could have got money in illegal ways. In some shape, form, or fashion. Only you know if you got money in illegal, um, criminal, behind-the-scenes ways or not. Um, I'm not saying, maybe that's just for one of you guys. Uh, but for the majority of my collective, I feel you're about to learn the lie on how somebody else got money in some kind of shifty behind the scenes way. But only you know where you fit into this category, not anybody else cancer, okay? Fearlessness, fearlessness and freedom, I feel this is your energy or whoever um, is not stealing money and acquiring it behind the scenes in a shifty manner. Lies. Uh, on how they acquired the money or you acquired some kind of stolen behind the scenes money, how that resonates. It's about to be exposed soon. It's going to be upright. I built a femme energy that acquired money behind the scenes or masculine that acquired money. Shiesty behind the scenes, whether it's a cancer or somebody else. Um, how that resonates, it applies. They're coming up with the queen pinnacles upright, but it's not their money. Whoever this is. Whether it's you or somebody you're connected to. For one, it's you. For one, it's you're about to learn the truth on how the person acquired the money. It's not their money. Whether it's a fem energy or masculine, it's not going to be fem. They're coming up with the queen of pentacles upright. How that resonates and applies cancer. I think it's going to set you free if this resonates for you. Or set somebody else free once the truth is exposed. A uh, tourist investigator, sh shicey tourist investigator, is about to become very significant in a cancer's life as well. Negative talent moments are about to start occurring for them. For one, you're going to help 
facilitate this, for one, you were connected to them. You're going to wish you never were. Some kind of shiesty Taurus investigator energy. If this resonates for you, it can be masculine, feminine, Taurus. They can have Taurus in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine energies of your charts. Uh, for one, you were connected, like positively connected to this shiesty Taurus investigator. I think the one that you, the one that has the money you're not supposed to have, I think they might have given you money you weren't supposed to have. I heard they're a shiesty Taurus investigator, so they don't do things by, by the book. Um, whoever they are, uh, they don't follow proper policy, procedure, protocol, etc., etc., etc. I feel for the one of you that has the money you're not supposed to have, you're the Queen of Pentacles, or a masculine takes on Queen of Pentacles energy that has money you're not supposed to have. I think they might have given you money you weren't supposed to have uh, for one. But the rest of you guys, majority of my collective, um, you're about to find out about this Taurus investigator. And for one, you're about to help create negative tower moments for them. So you have to plug yourself in on what side of karma you're on here. Whoever this Taurus investigator is and how they resonate, whether you're going to create negative power moments for the not uh, proper policies, procedures, protocols, what have you, what have you, that they followed, or you receive some kind of money from the shiesty Taurus investigator, how that resonates in a pot, okay? Only you know your situation story, not anybody else. But I think there's going to be some kind of fearlessness and freedom energy, whether you help create series of chain of events, negative series of chain of events for them, or... Maybe you, for some, you give the money back to this person and you separate away. I mean, only you know how you're going to handle the situation, not anybody else. Gratitude. An adult daughter is about to thank you. And you're about to become very integral in a feminine energy's life. Very high vibrational feminine energy's life in a positive way. Once you help this person, they will thank you. Well, that's good. That's beautiful. So for one of you guys... Um, a, a, a daughter, adult daughter is going to thank you. So they're going to give gratitude to you. It could be your adult femme daughter or somebody else's adult femme daughter, how that resonates and applies. But they're going to give you gratitude and thank you for something. Uh, for some, you could be lending them money or giving them money or helping them with something. Whoever this adult femme daughter is, whether it's your adult femme daughter, biological or um, bloodline or somebody else's. Um, and for one, it's uh, some fem energy is about to become very significant in your life. It could be somebody in your past or a new person, however that resonates, but it's an adult fem energy as well. Um, and I heard um, you're going to be very positive um, uh, energy in this person's life. And um, I heard through many series of chain events, they will thank you. So they will give gratitude to you and thank you. Because it sounds like you're about to become a positive driving force in this person's life in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, it doesn't sound like you're going to drag them down, beat them down. Uh, like, you're going to be positive in their life. A positive driving force. Uh, for some reason, I feel guided to get a tea leaf. I didn't get it for any of the other signs, but I feel guided to get it for yours. Cancer. Spirit messages, you have a sign answer. You and this fem energy are going to get along very well. Very, very, very well. Intuitively, you know this. You and this fem energy are going to get along very, very, very well. Intuitively, you know this. So, um, for a lot of you guys, I feel it's somebody you haven't met yet. For some, it could be somebody your past, but only you know your situation is story, not anybody else. But I heard you and this fem ener feminine energy are going to get along very well. So you're going to get along very well, whoever this person is, and how they apply, okay? April. And a lot of time was wasted in the past. A lot of time. But through many series of chain of events, a cancer is about to help speed up things, situation for feminine energy in a huge way. 
help her out in a huge way. She's high vibrational. Okay, I heard a lot of time was wasted in the past. A lot of time. Uh, you know this. You're highly intuitive, Cancer. You know this, that a lot of time was wasted for a particular feminine energy. It's not you. For some, um, you could be intuitive and know a lot of time was wasted for you. But I feel for a lot of you guys, it's some other feminine energy. You know a lot of time was wasted. So something was wasted. And it was a lot of time, apparently, that was wasted in some shape, form, or fashion. But heard you're about to help speed up the process for her in a huge, positive way. Her, she's very light sized. She treats people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. So I think you're about to give gratitude and thanks to her. Um, maybe she helped you out in some shape, form, or fashion, Cancer, um, in the past. And you're about to um, give thanks and help speed up the process for her, is what I'm feeling. Um, and show your thankfulness and gratitude by helping speed up the process for her. Because it sounds like somebody intentionally kept her stuck. Intentionally kept her. They most certainly did. And you know this. They, okay, I heard they most certainly didn't even know this. So they did. They intentionally kept her stuck. But you know somebody, either one person or a group or what have you, would have you intentionally kept her stuck. But I think she was a positive driving force in your life, or she is now. And that's why you're about to pay it forward to her. Showing gratitude to her. But you plug it in how it resonates, Cancer. April? In April of 2022, you were blackmailed to do something you severely regret it. You're about to turn the tables on the person that blackmailed you in a huge way. Interesting. Okay, so whoever that's for, um, Cancer, uh, you have to plug yourself in when you fit. But one of you guys, in April of 2022, you were severely blackmailed to do something. Now, whatever the crap you were blackmailed to do, I don't know. Only you know what you were blackmailed to do, not anybody else cancer. You have to plug it in, how it resonates, if it applies for you. But one of you guys was blackmailed to do something. And I heard specifically in April of 2022, I heard now you severely regret it. Um, and it could be regarding that fem energy you're about to help speed up the process for or not. Only you know your situation story, not anybody else. But you were severely blackmailed to do something, you severely regret it. Um, but... You're about to turn the tables on the person that blackmailed you. So whoever blackmailed you to do something that you now severely regret. And it was in April of 2022. All right. I love you guys. Everybody have a good day and namaste.